As well as the transitions, the new pack update also includes a whole range of overlays, viewfinders and effects, and I'm going to run through those now. The easiest way to apply effect is to select the clip on the timeline, press X to select the in and out, go up to the titles. Here you can see we've got two old SLRs. I'm going to go with the first one and just press Q to get that on the timeline. You might notice the checkerboard on there. I'll come back to that in a, in a while. And there we have a great looking old SLR viewfinder applied to the footage. You might notice the on-screen control that moves the whole composite around. I can also scale that and change things like the roundness of the edge, the blur, you see the edge changing, or in fact I can position the image within the frame and scale it should you wish. Also if you want to be really accurate with viewfinders, some of them actually flip the image so you can do that as well. I've also got here um, the screen detail color. Now that actually changes the detail, not the background, but you can see the border on the left hand side here changing. And again, I can blur that slightly. We want a bit more of an organic feel to it. And the pointer goes up and down in the inspector and that matches on the screen. And you can keyframe that to have it move in relation to the video. We have an inside opacity control and what that does is that actually controls the second edge. If I back that down, you can see it, which makes the edge look a bit more realistic as opposed to a hard edge. It gives that feathering type of effect. And also on here, we've got some ground glass, which is just a noise generator. You can turn it right up. Now onto the background, this is important because all of the viewfinders are actually on a transparent background that you saw earlier, which means you can multi-layer them and also move them around and put them over a background of your choice. I'll just change that back to black. You can of course change the color. And also we have some lighting on here that blows the middle out. And finally in the list of parameters, the inspector is edges. And what that does is it just fades the edges off. You might have noticed in the title inspector, we have an old SLR focus screen. So same thing, X and then Q. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this focus screen underneath the SLR overlay. And there we have a really nice split screen and micro prism focus. OK, onto the next plugin, and that's the focus twitch. If I drag that underneath all of them, you can see that it defocuses and refocuses, but also does the split in the middle of the screen exactly like an old SLR on there. Onto another type of viewfinder this time. So same again, select the clip, press X and go up. This time we're going to use Lomo, which is an emulation of a popular stills camera from Russia from the 80s. Hit Q and that will overlay it for the duration. Now I'm going to just adjust a few things to make the next effect a bit more visible. I'm going to take the edges and the lighting off, then adjust a few things, maybe make the frame a bit rounder and blur the inside of the edge a bit more. And also because it's against something that's fairly light, I'm going to decrease the luminance of the focusing guides on there. Now what I want to do is add another layer to this. So and this time I'm going to go to the overlays chromatic aberration, but drop it underneath the Lomo. And you can just see this edge starting to appear, but I'm going to crank up the crank up the effect even more. But there's loads of controls in this overlay. You can adjust each of the R, G and B channels for scale and blur to your heart's content. If I push this right up, you can see the effect. But it gives that kind of really cheap optics look to two things. And also, because she, well, she's got a cine camera, why not let's add another one? So again, X. This time I'm going to go to the frame rate. And what that does, very simply, it does a strobe. So drop that underneath everything. And there we go. A really bad looking viewfinder, but that's what we want.
So on to the last setup. And as you can see, I've already added the DSLR overlay with the LEDs, which of course you can change color in the inspector and the ghost writing behind them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a focusing screen. So again, X and Q, drag that underneath. And this gives you um, a focusing screen like a 5D with those zones. And after that, the focus switch goes underneath all of those and it defocuses, but then lights up the zones. We actually can select which ones you like from a range. And that defocuses and then pops it back into focus, which looks pretty good. Right, now also something else. When the clapperboard goes down, we want to make that into a photograph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the length of both of those. Then go to another overlay called Flash and Frame Freeze. Drop that on. It's a bit long, so I can reduce that. And then when that comes down, it flashes and goes into a frame. And I can add other things. I can add maybe a slide mount to it, or indeed just do a nice zoom to get a bit of animation to it. Very easy. As you can see, many, many possibilities, all with the new overlays, viewfinders, and the effects within XFX camera transitions. Don't forget, if you need more help with the transitions, there's also a separate tutorial for that.